This is the Engines of Our Ingenuity, made possible by the friends of KUHF Houston. Today, historian Kathy Patterson reports on the invention of the newspaper. The University of Houston presents this series about the machines that make our civilization run and the people whose ingenuity created them. We expect our news to be new. Radio, TV, the Internet instantly bring us events from across the globe. The newspaper with its once-a-day cycle seems almost antique. Yet the newspaper was once as revolutionary as the Internet. For centuries, news moved by word of mouth or by handwritten letter. It was, by its very nature, not regular or periodical. News traveled when something happened. The advent of the printing press made printing news for many people at the same time possible, but at first printers did not see the potential of printed news. It took a century and a half to learn that news could appear on a regular basis and that it would sell. Printers in Europe first published occasional pamphlets filled with sensational news of witchcraft or executions. By the early 1600s, the first true periodicals emerged. Printers collected stories of war, plague, political intrigue, religious strife. They published them in Corantos, small booklets that came out at semi-regular intervals. In England, popular weekly Corantos brought profits to newsmongers or news sellers. Corantos traveled by carrier, post, and trade routes to eager readers throughout the country. They reported only foreign events, for the Crown tried to keep a tight grip on domestic news, yet they thrived. The outbreak of civil war between King and Parliament in 1642 transformed the news business in England. Censorship controls lapsed, and domestic news became widely reported. Partisan newsbooks with names like the Daily Intelligencer proliferated. They supported rival sides, and they slanted the news in their own direction. Publication became more frequent. Newsmen looking to increase profits made sure that gory details of battles and hysterical reports of plunder received prominent coverage. One 1645 royalist report read, The cathedral at Lincoln hath lately been profaned by Cromwell's barbarous crew who have filled that holy place with their own and horses' dung. The restored monarchy reclaimed press control, but still the news industry boomed. In 1702, the first daily newspaper, the Daily Courant, was published in London. It claimed impartiality, but it buzzed with the harshly partisan political debates of the day. Papers now hired reporters to go out and seek news that would grab the attention of readers. The invention of the newspaper depended on print technology and also on a commercial economy. People must have money to pay for papers regularly as well as enough leisure to read them. But the ingenuity of news purveyors played a vital role. They saw a market for the regular publication of news, and they exploited it. Why do we have such a thirst for news? We need to know what's going on to be good citizens, but human curiosity and a morbid fascination with bad news also drives us. Purveyors of news, then or now, have always understood and catered to both our better and our worse instincts. I'm Kathy Patterson at the University of Houston, where we're interested in the way inventive minds work. Music